Back to your home life, your family, do you practice Jewishness, cultural, religious, in, if so, how today? Mm -hmm. I am a, I'm a cultural Jew with a very strong faith that defined by ambivalence. Um, I, we belong to a, to a congregation in Northampton, a congregation in Israel. Um, I have a long-standing interest in the Bible as a, as a narrative, as a novel, if one could conceive it that way. I teach a course uh, regularly on God, how we see God in various religions, uh, secular ways of perceiving God, uh, atheism, agnosticism, uh, uh, debates among religions in the Middle Ages concerning the power of God, the, the same God being represented in various religions or different gods being for different religions. I envy those that have a faith that is unshakable. And I say this with no degree of irony. If I could not doubt my faith, I would be a committed believer, but I can't. And I I have to doubt to the degree that I go back and forth and never to the degree of saying this this option is is right and this option is not right meaning my doubt my ambiguity and my uncertainty never leads me to deny god altogether and say i live in a world that is godless god at some point comes back and says here i am and consider me again or i am considering you ilan again and uh, welcome to the dialogue in my home, we are, it's a Jewish home. We celebrate the holidays. We uh, often, not always, light uh, candles on Friday. Um, there is a lot of Jewish discussions, Jewish debates at home that have to do with literature, that have to do with philosophy, that have to do with politics, uh, Middle Eastern politi politics, American politics are at the center of the dinner table dialogue um, so it's a very, I would say it's a very Jewish home. It is not a very religiously Jewish home, but religion plays a role.